What's up, YouTube? Sticks and Seams 2.5 coming at you with a Hall of Fame ballot. Um, I contemplated whether or not I should even be doing this. I've only been in the YouTube collect community here for about four, four or five months now. Um, but you know what? I say, what the heck? Um, these people that I'm going to nominate, there are eight of them. Um, there are so many more. Uh, a lot of the people I watch consistently are already in the YouTube Hall of Fame. But uh, <clears throat> these eight particular people are people that have influenced me in my collection um, since I've gotten back into it. And kind of, you know, whenever I'm in a lull, I watch their videos. It reinvigorates me. They're, they're in no particular order. Up first is uh, Mr. Fisherbike. Um he he kind of really nudged me into joining the community making the the videos so what more can i say about that he is a red Sox collector he is a nomar collector i am a nomar collector and a red Sox collector uh we share a lot of same common interests in our philosophies on collecting and, and baseball in general um very friendly guy knows a lot of people introduces you that way so you get to meet more people and, and build those relationships so for that um he's a hall of famer in my book <clears throat> up next is uh blue jacket 66 what more can you say about him impressive impressive vintage collection um pretty much collects a little bit of everything, but uh, extremely generous member of the community. Uh, you tell me another person out there that does a contest and gives away thousands and dollars of prizes to people, um, some that he knows, some that he doesn't know. It's just one of those things where you have to appreciate somebody in a community that loves the collecting piece of it, is passionate about what he collects, and he's also passionate about the community. So kudos to Blue Jacket 66. Up next is uh, Hoff Collector Bill. What more can you say about his collection? One of the most impressive Hall of Fame autograph collections I've seen. Um, we share a similar collecting interest in that we both go after the 05 Ultimate Signature Dual Set. Uh, he is much further along than I am. But um, anybody that can appreciate that set is uh, good in my book. Um, and if you really watch his videos, he collects everything. He has a amazing Back to the Future collection. And more recently, you, he even collects, uh, look like some toys, but it looked like Toy Story related items. So, uh, Bill, I appreciate you. You're a collector. You're a good guy. And you're a passionate about this hobby. Up next is um, the Mangini collection. Uh, when I watch his videos, it's like I, I feel like I'm going into the Smithsonian for baseball stuff. So um, it is quite amazing uh, the, the amount of of stuff that he has and he shows. And um, he's very knowledgeable about what he's getting. He likes a lot of those rare oddball type of things as well, which I can appreciate. And... Uh, it's just one of those things I wish I had an opportunity to go hang out in that guy's baseball card room one day and just listen to him because he is obviously a wealth of knowledge. Uh, <clears throat> up next, we got uh, Triple Crown 24. Uh, I like uh, Triple Crown 24's channel. He kind of encompasses everything about the hobby. Uh, he's a super player collector, so obviously he's passionate about the game and about his guy, uh, Miggy. He does podcasts, interviews, talking about the state and the pulse of the hobby, um, gets other collectors on there so they can talk about random different topics about sports cards. Uh, and now he's selling and kind of documenting that piece and letting us in there. So it kind of encompasses anything. If there's somebody new trying to get in the hobby, that's a great channel to watch for me. Um, it, it gives you a little taste of everything. So kudos, Triple Crown 24. Up next is uh, Wesker Griff. Uh, I like watching his videos um, because I do, I, I, I'm like a seasonal collector. Sometimes I'm focusing heavy on my uh, memorabilia. Uh, sometimes I'm focusing heavy on the cards, 90s or Hall of Fame autos, rookies. And that's where Wesker Griff comes in for me. Um, 
I know he collects a lot of the rookies, that type of thing. So when I'm hitting a kind of a dry patch with my PC players, Griffey and Nomar, I'll kind of branch out back into the rookies and try and get a pulse for who's hot, who's up and coming, what to look out for. And that's what I, uh, that's why I like to watch uh, Wesker Griff's um, videos. He, he's also very active in the community. He, I, like I said, I've only been on here about four months, so obviously I don't have a lot of, a lot of people watching my videos or a lot of subs, but, um, he, he found me and he's, he comments on my videos, so, um, I can appreciate that as well. <clears throat> Up next is what about, what about Bob Lewis? Um, I, I, he's just a mellow guy to kind of listen to his videos. He, uh, I can appreciate anybody that really likes Austin Meadows because he's a really good player. Um, I, you know, going from Pittsburgh to Tampa hasn't really been um, the spotlight piece you want to your career, but he's raking anyway. And um, I, I like Bob's videos because he's really nice. He's real friendly. He tries to incorporate and include everybody. And um, he has kind of a wide collecting think piece. So I, I, that's why I like watching Bob's videos. And my last one is the Ticket Leprechaun. Um, I love the fact that he is a hall, like a Hall of Fame baseball autograph collector. I love collecting autograph baseballs. Um, I love his beast there. Uh, I obviously do not have as many as him, but I I, I was doing better than I thought. Um, he has such a positive message. He's so nice and friendly to everybody. Um, is an amazing collection. He's extremely passionate about that, um, and, and that's what I like. I like the positivity. I, uh, I like that what what he brings to the community, and um, that is why I voted for the Ticket Leprechaun. Um, so those are my votes for the 2020 uh, YouTube Hall of Fame induction class, and I want to wish everybody good luck. Uh, there are so many more channels I watch. Uh, a lot of the channels I watch frequently, you guys are already in the YouTube Hall of Fame. Um, but uh, I just look forward to finding more channels and linking up and meeting more people and making more friends and keeping the collecting going. Good luck, everyone.